Okay, welcome back to our second our second video in this series titles Gandhi's Revenge Civilization playthrough. We're we're how many turns in? We're forty eight turns in. All the early ones. Nothing in too interesting's happened yet. So let's let's just jump back into it. Okay, I've been ignoring my well, actually, let's build a fisher boat first. Ah, oh, I'm just entered a classical area. Good. What I was going to say is I've been ignoring my religion a little. Take the sword shall perish by In the real sword. life as well, but that's by choice, the real life one. In the game, it's going to be handy for me. But again, this the Chinese here are probably doing great work for me in the fact that they've already chosen my religion and are probably spreading it on my behalf. Which is good. This warrior could be in a bit of trouble here. Hopefully he survives an attack. Okay, let's uh, just continue in. Let's see how he gets on. That's good. Less of them you can lose, the better, obviously. Right, let's leave this worker on automatic as well. Right, our first settler should be coming soon. But you can adjust your sail. That was sailing finish. That's going to be quite handy. Okay, next. Uh, let's see. Again, as I have marble, I might want to think about building some more wonders, which poly polytheism would help. I believe that means multiple religion, does it? But writing can be quite helpful. It uh, for communication with the other leaders. Uh, let's go. Let's go polytheism first. Let's slowly heal this worker, and we'll get a settler up to him now in a moment. Build a city around them. Okay, regular you get these these charts. See see where you are in the game. Um, so it's just me and the Chinese are known to me. And I'm not the largest, and the Chinese certainly aren't. Okay, that's now these charts can be a bit misleading because I might be the have the most technology, I might have the biggest army. Um, so it's just from time to time, it, it doesn't really tell you that much information. So honestly, I don't even worry about it too much. Although I don't like being called Alan the Puny, it hurts a little. Right, we got. Let's go forge. Uh, that'll double our, not double, uh, increase by twenty five percent. Um, our our building capacity, which is quite helpful, especially when we're going to be building some wonders soon. I hope. Right, let's just get these fisher fishermen fishing. I could emphasize forges. Let's get at least one monastery up so we can start. As the Chinese seem to be quite a bit weaker than me, I'm gonna be cheeky and try and get try and get a city right beside them here. And another one to the right. Not at all similar Could be risky. to the immortal gods and the race of men. So let me force the Build this. Let's go writing. So let me just go up here. As I was saying, it could be risky here building here. The main the main thing I'm worried about is <clears throat> the main thing I'm worried about is this city's been here a while, so its culture must be about to expand, which means I'm about to build next, just right next to a border. That's gonna increase tensions and I might get swamped. Now the only thing I've going for me is he will get religion soon enough, so his borders should expand quite quickly. So I'm just going to have to emphasize some culture here. It's it's risky, but I'll go for it. There, so I just expanded anyway. Okay, I'm going to get a lighthouse here because he's become a bit stagnant. He's not growing at all. Oh, but 
my workers are about to build farms in their flute plants. So that'll probably help that. Again, this is a. Uh, I, I can't say I recommend this course of action, but I'm, I'm going for it. Also, writing's coming through, which means I can, I'll can i be able to build a library soon, which again will increase the culture in each of the city I build them. Okay, I'm going to build another settler and a warrior and build around here. Ooh, this could... It's a bit strange that I've not seen any other cultures yet. There could be a lot of empty area over here. And people could be over to the left. But my settings were changed to start again. Maybe it's not as many as I usually play against. True glory consists in doing what deserves to be written. In writing what deserves to be read. Okay, let's go uh, mono... <laughs> Monotheism, despite the fact that I just went polytheism. Let's go monotheism because uh, monotheism, because it'll give me a few options in our civics, which I haven't shown you yet, which I'll do after this develops. Problem with this game is there's so many things you want to do, or even you need to do that, but you have to pick one. <laughs> it's catch twenty two, as it were. Okay, I want to get another warrior or something here because these guys are worrying me. What to do here? I don't want to build a settler with this guy. I don't want to build a wonder without a forge. Hmm. I want to let the city grow a little. Let's just start a forge off. They, I want it to get done eventually, so let's start it now. And this guy, let me just get one settler out of him, and then we'll get a 20% chance. I'll let him attack me. He should kill himself. Let's get a settler and put a warrior up here then i won't emphasize expansion again I am the Lord soon. Thy God. thou shalt have no other gods before me okay here's what i was talking about civics so let's go into them um organized religion has allowed me to pick an extra one or two now here's the other great thing about Gandhi, he starts off as spiritual, which means he can change between these civics without any cost. Usually it costs me a whole turn, which is very expensive, a revolutionary turn. So here's the only option I have here, organized religion, which I am going to pick. It allows me to build missionaries without monasteries. Bit of a tongue twister there. Which can be quite handy, especially as I'm going religion. I want to build a big religion. And also, cities with my religion will build 25% faster. So, quite a nice civic. Started off there. Okay, maybe time I get archery. Let's get archery. I don't want to get too ahead of it. And I do have a warrior inside my land. Hmm. I usually can't get the Great Lighthouse in time. Let's build a forge and try and get it. I have a feeling I might have the difficulty one lower than I usually do. I might have been wrong. But let's wait for this warrior to step out of this forest and then we're going to attack him from a couple of sides. Or hopefully he'll attack this guy in a forest. Oh, I did not see this up here. Need to be paying a bit more attention to that. My automatic scout out here. Do not throw the arrow Dead now. I don't need to worry about him from now on. Okay. It's recommending iron, which 
I think I'm gonna need to go for because I don't have any bronze yet. I see bronze here on the screen, but it's a long way from me. Let's have a quick look around for bronze. Let's zoom out. Oh, I don't see any bronze anywhere except for up there or copper. Sorry, not bronze. Um, she's going to be trouble. Oh, I might be able to. Yeah, I might be able to get a city up here. The Chinese seem to be to the left of it. Now, that would be risky. Right, let's go for that, because if there's no iron anywhere near me, I could be in real trouble. So let's go for that. Good, he took the bait, attacked me. Right, these are Chinese. Let's start uh, trying to trade a little with them. They're pleased with me at the moment, which is good. I need them to stay on my side. Because I'm going a little greedy here. I don't have that good of an army. Not able to defend myself the best. There's lots of wonders here I want to be building. But. No I guess I can. I can go ahead and build. Uh, I think the Colossus I'll have a little more time to build. I could. I'm going to go for the great lighthouse. I have a lot of. A lot of coastal cities here. I'm hoping to snipe another one. Let's move this warrior up here and this warrior here. <clears throat> I'm probably going a little fast for some people. Apologize for that. I'm playing a bit slower than my usual though. If that appeases <laughs> you at all. Right. Are these the Chinese, do they have a land border here? Uh, a land bridge or something here? Or is this all they've got? It seems a bit strange. If I could bottle them up, I guess that'd be good, but they would get fairly aggressive, probably. But let's uh, see how it goes. I'm going to build some archers just to go around this Chinese border. I've been playing a little loose and a little loose, but it might pay off for me. Okay, great lighthouse. Let's go for it. Oh, excellent. Okay, our first, um, what are they called? Our first special person, I think they might be called. Uh, but this is a great prophet. Which this is brilliant for us because we have we're the founder of Buddhism, which what well, one of these things he can do is he can build a temple if you're the founder of it in the city that founds a religion. So he's already gone here. So I'm going to build Buddhism. I'll explain what that does as I do it. Watch this animation. The best thing it does is it gives me one gold for every city that has Buddhism. So let's go into the city. And uh, see what it is. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, no, I'm not even going to try. I'll offend someone. So I get four gold. And four culture as well, actually. Uh, but I get four gold, more importantly. For pretty much nothing. Uh, just for the fact that I have... Hmm, I have four cities. I thought I got it for every city in the world. Oh, this city doesn't have Buddhism yet. So it's for all the cities I can see, maybe. Uh, Guangzhou here, and my other three ones. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, looks like I might be able to get copper here. That could be... <laughs> I've No, I don't see any other settlers around. This could, this could pay off. Okay, it's advising... Like, oh, the Chinese got to my right. Is that the Chinese? It is. Well, oh, that's interesting. I'm going to be surrounded. I don't have to build here. I can stop right now. I'm going to do it. That copper is just too valuable. It's just too valuable. Let's, uh, again, we're going to have to emphasize culture, these two. 
Now I'm working on iron working at the moment. If it turns out I have iron resources somewhere, that copper is not going to be as valuable. But if I don't, I'll be very glad I did it. So I'll, I think I have to do that. Now what I got to do now is build some archers. I, I got to stop. Been too risky here. When it is glowing hot. There's some iron. Um, let's go mathematics as I'm a mathematician myself or a maths teacher at least probably not quite a mathematician okay let's just build a couple of archers before I build another one there except this guy let's uh, get this oh I thought I, I was hoping to build a wonder it must have been gone already let's have built this but this guy build Build culture, this guy as well. Wait, there was copper down here. Was that there all the time and I just didn't see it? Huh. It's stupid of me, but okay. No harm done. Yet. Another archer. Um, leave them in my two vulnerable cities. Okay, you can see in this city, you can see this sort of green haze around it and this unsmiley face. I'll show you what that is. That's up here, my health meter. I have seven health, but my city's generating eight unhealth. I'm not sure what they call that, but unhealthiness. Okay, unhealth maybe works then. Which which means in general my oh it's just losing one food which is not helping, but I can solve that by building a building or two, clean the city up a little. Okay, I don't need to emphasize building more cities. Nobody's gonna invade me. I'll get an army down here to wipe out these barbarians and get a free city out of it. I don't think the Chinese are gonna push into this desert. And I don't think they're going to push as low as here where I want to build. So let's concentrate on a few wonders. Let's let him build the Colossus. I think he should still have time because I developed... Um, I can't remember the technology that helps him build Colossus. Let me think uh, for a moment. Metalworking, I think. Um, I developed metal working quite early, so nobody should be able to do it. Oh, excellent! Great lighthouse is nearly finished. If I can build that, all these coastal cities I have, which I already have a few, will get much more productive for me. Excellent. Right, another world wonder. The Great Lighthouse. I, I usually don't stop to look at these animations, but they're quite well done. My lighthouse. Let's stop it short. They're not that well done. <laughs> right, what do we do? Let's uh, build some. Uh, let's build a minister. A ministry. Um, minis mini missionary. There we go. A missionary to uh, go explore the land a little bit and get a bit of use out of it. Right, granary will help on this pollution. Let me show you what this uh, great lighthouse does, by the way. Let's click on it here. Oh, it doesn't uh, show up. Oh, there, it says it there. Uh, plus two trade routes in all coastal cities. Which is fantastic. So let's pick on one of our coastal cities. So you can see up here trade routes. It usually only has one at this stage in the game. The currency has three. So it's generating an extra two gold for us. And again next door and that that might go up. Uh, connection. Well, depending on what happens in the game. As the game goes up these usually go up higher and higher. We'll see that as it goes though. 
in a fairly healthy state civilization wise see, you can see of my top left there 70% of all my gold is going to technology which I usually usually emphasize which is quite good at this stage in the game anything 60 or higher I'm quite happy with let's just go through these turns as I build things okay how's this city going a happiness eight and eight so if I build a temple it'll allow my population to go up one more so let's do that well, finally my uh, my uh, I got Buddhism here oh I just realized my options I think my missionaries yes they are they're starting automatic I don't really want that this early in the game so let me turn that off. I need another missionary. I want them to go off and find me some extra cities. If in other sciences we should arrive at certainty without doubt and truth without Okay, doubt, let's go calendar. It moves us to place the foundations of knowledge in mathematics. I want to emphasize calendar because it allows me to build another wonder that's quite useful. I'll explain it when we get to it though a bit. Mainly because I can't remember the name of it. Okay, another missionary here. This guy, another temple. We're going to emphasize religion here, as we said. Library. Well, not religion, sorry. Culture. Which library helps immensely with... You get double. You get double advantage out of library. You get culture and you get your technology increase oh they did build in that desert i don't think that's too much harm if this city grows as well as well as i'm hoping it to we should be able to conquer these just with culture interesting let's go back to my capital here and see how this buddhism is paying out for me just to emphasize how much good it's doing I'm getting plus seven gold that's in this city which means in this city I'm gonna be building things like banks and things that multiplies my gold a little okay I think I'm gonna get a city down here I'll build some build some warriors maybe Yeah, let's build a couple of. What else have I got here? Actually, first. Right, I don't really know how to pronounce this. Uh, Maori, is it? Oh, is this is this Easter Island? Huh. Uh, Maori statues, uh, but it. It 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 can only be built on coastal cities, but it doubles my production. Uh, doubles, uh, not double. Sorry, it, where is it? Oh, it gives me plus one um, working for each water tile. I'm not going to use it here because it's a national wonder. I want to save this guy's national wonders. Let's just build a settler for the moment. And let's examine this city. Okay, his health's still pretty bad, so we're going to build an aqueduct to increase its health a lot. Okay, I'd really like to find some more cities. I'm going to go up here to the left through. Let me explain this first, though. I have a great engineer here. She allows me to do a lot of things. Start a golden age is one of them. And that's probably what I'm going to use it for. If I can get a world wonder, I'm going to start working on soon when calendar is finished. This golden age, it for for eight turns, it just makes me much better. Basically, it just makes me do everything better. With the world wonder I'm looking to build, it'll let me do it for twelve turns instead of eight. So I'm going to save this guy. Basically, I'm just going to let him sleep there for a moment, and we're going to save it.
Okay, this city, I can't really afford to do much. I'm going to go Monastery. That gives me culture and it gives me technology. I just really have to emphasize culture on these guys. I gotta build these. I gotta, I gotta just fight these Chinese off. I guess culture-wise, which is how fighting really should be done. Okay, nice. We got Colossus over. I was a little worried about that, even though we started it so early. Uh, we had the technology so early. I mean, I gave it to a weaker city. Now this is great. This is a. Uh, Increasing all my coastal cities gold uh, on all water maps So I've really been emphasizing coastal cities so far And as well, let's give him uh, these Maori statues so he's, he's gonna have building as well as money. This could be good for us. He's short food though unfortunately Right, the Chinese can't get through there. This is interesting. I've split the Chinese already. This is going to weaken them a lot. Which isn't... Oh, their capital doesn't have my religion. Let's just give them a... Right, we need a some sort of warrior or something to... Was I not building a... Axeman somewhere. I'm sure I was. Maybe not. Let's uh, let's change. Let's change this city's grow uh, building to a. Let's build another archer. And you on. Let's give them Buddhism. I didn't realize how weak the Chinese were in my religion. Usually, when a when a culture takes a religion, they they spread it everywhere. It's if you take a religion, you should have it in all your cities, because all your bonuses come from the fact each city that has it. So I just assumed this is dangerous because if anybody sends another religion to China. They'll take that over. But now that I've got to the capital, that's actually pretty good. That's uh, I think I might be okay there. Okay, we got calendar. That gives us a good few things. Let's go through that. First thing it does is centers my world map. You can see down the bottom right now that I now know where in the world I am. You can go left, you can wrap around the world, but you can't go down and pop back on the top. But if you go left, you'll pop out on the right. So I'm I'm down towards the bottom of the map. You can see how big it is. And usually at this stage, you see lots of civilizations. I only have two, which is probably good for this moment. It leaves me isolated. So I'm going to try and expand to the right here. What else does? It allows me to build plantations, which means I can get silk, uh, sugar, lots of things. Uh, it's quite useful. But here's one thing I wanted there. Mausoleum of mausoleums, if that's no. Mausoleums, <laughs> that's what I always said in my head, but it doesn't say that. Mausoleum of somebody that looks like mausoleum. Um, I'm going to be building that, which allows my golden ages to go longer. Well, I'm going to try and build that. So that's what the next bit is. But let's leave this video here for the moment, and we'll hopefully you'll rejoin me at this spot. If you've liked this, please like and subscribe. There will be many more videos coming. Um, hopefully every day, at least five a week though, I'll, I'll try and guarantee. Thanks for watching and goodbye.